Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to today's Taraweeh reflection. Today we are in Surah Ar-Rum and we're going to be talking about verse number 44. Hanwa Ta'ala says, Man kafara fa'alayhi kufruh, wa man amila saliha, fali anfusihim yamhadun. Which means, whoever disbelieves, then upon them is their disbelief. And whoever does good deeds or righteous deeds, then they are preparing for themselves. Uh, this ayah actually covers two very important principles that are part of our aqidah, part our, of our belief, our creed as Muslims. First principle, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given all of us, all of mankind, free will to believe or to disbelieve, to uh, do good or to do bad. Second principle is that everything that Allah has commanded us to do from goodness and piety and everything that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has told us not to do from the disobedience of Allah and then that is for our own benefit. And this principle is important because some people, they have a, uh, a huge misconception regarding this issue. Often hear people say, uh, like, why does God care whether we pray or not? Uh, why does God care if I drink alcohol or not? Like, wh why does it matter to Allah? And even, billah, you may hear people say, like, oh, that's, what kind of, uh, what kind of petty God is that? That he needs these little actions, he needs to set rules for you. And here in this ayah, we hear this principle that in actuality, Allah doesn't need that from us. Allah is in no need of our worship. Allah is in no need of our, dis of our obedience. None of that. But we are in need of that. And we benefit from that. And those matters have been legislated. Allah has made the halal and haram first and foremost for our benefit. Firstly, in this life, and we see that the, the benefits, whether we know them or not, we do understand as Muslims that all of our acts of worship, everything that we're commanded to do has benefits. And then as this ayah mentioned, it's for the akhirah, for the afterlife. That when we do good deeds, we're helping ourselves, we're preparing ourselves for the afterlife. So in the beginning of this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Man kafara fa'alayhi kufru, that the one who disbelieves, then that disbelief is upon them. Meaning the consequences of that disbelief, your response. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us signs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us the guidance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made the guidance clear, and then we make the decision to either believe or to disbelieve. But we have to deal with the in summary, uh, nobody is forced to disbelieve or nobody is forced to believe. But whatever choice we make, we are responsible for the consequences of that in this life. And, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Jazakumullahu khaira for listening. I will see you all later, inshallah ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.